guess we'll go back home real quick. Unfortunately, I did take my buffs during that, so I don't have an iron skin uh, potion anymore. I do want to go see how we can make it. I think we can give whatever his name is now. Tanner. Oh, I thought he died. I guess not. Uh, we can give him, like, a bottle of water, and he'll tell us, like, uh, all potion recipes, you know? So, let's see what he has to say about this. Where is it? Iron skin's like a yellow skin. Yep, there it is right there. Day blooms and iron ore. Ooh, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it was that. I think, yeah, we do still have some day blooms, right? Maybe able to buy. Yeah, we have six. Maybe able to buy some day blooms. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe may, may able to buy some deep day blooms from the. What was her name? Over in the jungle? I guess we can go teleport to her real quick to see what she has. There she is right there. Celestia. What's she have? No, she has sunflower, grass seeds, grass wall, purification powder, potted hallow tree, potted jungle, forest. Tall grass, wildflower, blue flower, hallowed seeds, jungle wall, hallowed wall, day bloom. Ooh! Day bloom planter box. Let me get one of those. Moon glow. So if I get day bloom, can, can I farm with this stuff? Because I've got a lot of them. I might as well. Shiver thorn. I think I have those. I, I know I threw out a lot of them. But I guess I'll buy those pumpkin seeds. Oh, yeah, I, I did get comments from people saying, yeah, you can grow pumpkins as well with the pumpkin seeds from this woman. So, yeah, I guess we'll get a few of those. If we want to get more pumpkins, get more pumpkin pie, because I do like that. And I think that's pretty much it there. We have friendly scorpions here. Who thought that'd be a thing, but it is. God, these guys get annihilated. <laughs> Too bad there isn't, like, anything you could do over here, though. It kind of sucks. At, the, like, the pyramid, you know? Thought there would actually be something you could do there, but I guess not. Look at that cute little frog. Anyways, uh, I suppose we'll go back to the forest pylon over here, and I suppose... What should we do? Should we should we go grab some day blooms over here? Day blooms, shiver thorns. What do we have? We have mo uh, moon glow. I think that was one over here. Yep, moon glow. What else did we have here that we may be able to, to grow? Shiver thorn? I think so. Moon glow. Yep, shiver thorn. What else was there? Fire Blossom, I believe that was one as well. Oh wait, hold on, I might have to use the seeds to grow them, not like the actual plants. I think I have the seeds though. I guess I'll put these up real quick though. Oh, I actually have straight up Shiver Thorn seeds like right there, that's pretty convenient. Oh, we get, yeah, we have eight day bloom seeds, that's nice, I love that. There it is right there, just put it next to the planter and we'll be able to easily see it. What else do we get there? Sparkle Slime Balloon, 66 of those consumable. Filled the party, filled the party girl bath water, what? Filled, oh, filled with party girl. Is this a meme on heckin'... Oh, I forgot what her name was. I put it on the screen. <laughs> is this supposed to be a meme on that? I feel like it is. Sparkle slime balloon filled with party girl bath water. This is stupid. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to get demonetized for referencing that. Anyways, let's go put up uh, some other stuff here. Just kind of clean out our inventory. All right, I've, I think I have every type of seed except for the death weed seed. I'm not seeing it here. We may have had some other some other point of time. Oh, I have a lemon in here. What? Cherry? <laughs> we may have had a... Oh, yeah. See, there's the death weed right there. So, I, I, it's, it's, there are no seeds near it, unfortunately. And I'm, I've been... Oh, whoops. I don't know what I just did right there, but sort. Yeah, I, I don't see the seeds near it, unfortunately. So, that sucks. But we do have, like, pretty much everything else. I suppose what we could do is... Uh, Maybe we should do something over here. Like, we haven't really done too much stuff over here. We kind of just neglected it. And it is relatively flat, too. So, you know what? Cut the grass over here a little bit. Maybe we'll put the planters over here. This will be pretty fun. Let's see. Uh, we have a random blueberry thing right there. I suppose... Let's do the day bloom. Now, how does this work? Just place it down and then put day bloom seeds in there or what? That work? No. Oh, that... Oh, did that work? No, I dropped it right there. What? How's this work? Hello, torch. I'm going to have to look in how, how these uh, planter things work. Because I've got the seeds for like everything except for, of course, the death weed. Oh, look at that big balloon in the background. Hmm, I don't know. That, that planter's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, so... Yeah. I feel like I might want to like... Maybe make like a greenhouse or something like that here. May, I might have to make it like out of glass. I assume that would be something I could do. Let me look up stuff about the planters. Hold on. I might, I might be doing it wrong. I, I have actual plants. I guess we'll go see if I can put an actual day bloom in that instead of the seeds. So I suppose we try that out. See if that works. If that's the case, then we I think we have every plant. So uh, let's see if we could do that. Pff, nope, that's not working. And I can't like open up an inventory of that either. Man. All right, let me continue reading over here so I don't make myself look like too much of a fool. Okay, doing a little bit of 
minor reading right now. I think a, a Davelin was supposed to grow that like naturally, which is kind of weird. You think you'd need like seeds and stuff like that, but I guess I guess we're fine. Like just place down these planters, I suppose, and we'll be good to go. I don't even know if it needs to be outside or like have like direct sunlight or anything like that. You know, I, I don't know if it even needs that. Well, I have a lot of stuff I could sell here. I don't know why I still have all this stuff. But, yeah, we have, like, a bunch of planters here. I suppose we can go place them down, I suppose. And, and if we want to move them, it's not like they're permanently going to have to be there, right? So, I suppose we'd, uh... Maybe we can go buy a bunch of, like, maybe get, like, five of each or something like that, right? That sounds pretty good. I guess we'll go do that. Let's go two. There you go. Just save us a little bit of time. <laughs> Just heading back over here. Let's go back to the dryad. There you go. Was that what she was? I think, yeah, 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 she's a triad. So we have one of each thing right now, basically. So I guess we'll get four of each. There you go. Where's that? Does that stack up with anything? What's this? Oh, yeah, that's the day bloom. So moon glow. Let's get four of those. Okay, I think I have everything now, so that's good. And we have a potted forest tree, jungle tree, hollow tree. I guess I could place these as, like, decoration, but I'm not too crazy about them right now, all right? And then uh, we could place down, like, all these flowers, and I suppose we could do the same thing with a pumpkin seed as you can with the acorn, where it'll grow a pumpkin eventually, so I suppose teleport back home. Maybe grab the pumpkin seeds and see if uh, pumpkins will grow over there, so let's grab, like, all five of those <laughs> and see if any pumpkins will grow over here, even though it is no longer uh, Halloween time. Let's see if uh, pumpkins will grow, like, here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if it needs to be, like, near water or what, but... Look at that, you can see like pumpkin stalks just kind of like right there, right there, right there. Look at that, that's cool. All right, let's place down some more planters here. So we have one there, two, three, four, five. And maybe I'll place down like a sign or something like that next to that and say, oh, that's whatever. Now if I place something like a moon glow next to that, can I do that? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, two, three, four, five. It kind of just like extends into its own thing there though. That's kind of weird. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of thinking just because there are torches there. Kind of want to break those. Then maybe I'll, uh. There you go. Get those back. And I'll place them back down here in just a moment. And then we're going to, like, elevate them just a little bit, perhaps. But yeah, let me, I guess I'll make, like, a platform for these things. Make it a little bit easier for us, I suppose. Kind of like this. Well, I guess if anything, I could just kind of attach it to this. Yeah, just like that. And get the hammer. And kind of flatten that out a little bit. Kind of like that. There you go. So that kind of works a little bit. And I guess I can place stuff like the Daybloom planter here. And uh, maybe I'll place these like one thing away so I can kind of keep track of them and stuff. And uh, maybe I'll place signs underneath them. That seems like that would work. Oh man, what was that again? <laughs> I've, oh, I think that's Deathweed right there. Uh, I suppose I'll go get some. Yeah, let's go get some signs. I think I have a... Uh, oh, I think I just ran out of wood. Whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that happens so much. I just teleport for no reason. Okay, I just made a bunch of signs, so I suppose we'll go place those down. We can kind of keep track of those. And this is actually looks, it looks kind of cool, so. Oh, I can't, what? Uh, oh, I can place it here, I think. Oh, I can place it here. I can place it. Nope. I can place it above it? Maybe. But if I place it above, pfft, looks kind of stupid right there, honestly. Like if I, pl oh, oh, I think. Is it? Are, are, are those? Oh yeah, look at that. There's stuff. Stuff is coming out of them. Ooh. Oh, never mind. That. that <laughs> I think that killed a flower right there. Oops. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, break the sign then. <laughs> Place the signs underneath. There we go. I guess I have to make this like too thick right here, and then we'll be able to place the signs underneath them. And we'll put the torches between each of them too. Oh, look at that. The pumpkins are growing. Look at that. There's already orange here. That's cool. What? I can't. Oh, I could probably- oh, okay, I could probably place- whoops, I could probably place backgrounds here and that would be fine, right? Man, I am making so many people, like, cringe right now with how I'm, like, handling all of this. Oh, whoa, whoa, the Dayblooms, they're growing out crazy fast right now, you guys. Uh, I feel like if I placed a sign, though, like, would that get in the way, perhaps? I don't know, what if I placed it, like, right here? Oh, whoa, whoa, look at all that. There's stuff, there's stuff growing all over the place there. Oh, whoops, that, that was like, so you could see whatever, yeah, like this. Oh, what, it, it did it again. Break that, yeah. Like, it looked like there wasn't like a stem of the sign, but then it placed it anyways. Look at all that stuff coming out right there. What? Okay, I might have to make this go up a little bit more. Because <laughs> it keeps placing the sign with like a, a stand on it. And I don't want that to happen, obviously. Alright guys, I am back. 
And I am looking at this traveling merchant right here, and he has a code to yo-yo. And I was like, whoa, how does that compare to our Amarok? Which I put up, by the way, I don't have it currently in my inventory. But the Amarok, apparently the base damage is 43. The code 2 is 54. And of course, right here with all of our buffs, we're up to 81. But there's also another thing that seems crazy good with this thing. Like the duration of the Amarok is 15 seconds. The duration of the code 2, infinity. We could use this thing non-stop. Holy heck. The reach of the Amarok is a 16.5, I assume tiles. The reach of the code 2, 18. It's only 25 gold. I think we're going to do it, you guys. I, I, it, now the question is, do I want to get two of them? Or do I just want to have this one? Because I'm, I'm honestly, I'm feeling like maybe if we get two of them, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do more yo-yo stuff. Get the yo-yo bag and, uh, did we upgrade that thing? I think you can upgrade that thing, can't you? Maybe. I have to go look at that. I have to go see if it's a material, but we have two platinum. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. We have two platinum, nine gold. We can afford it. We've got great money now. And there's not really too many things, uh, oh yeah, there's a few things, uh, ahead of this, but pretty much everything that's ahead of this thing is also infinite. So if we're going to be going from something that has a timed, like, duration to something that's infinite, yeah, that's a pretty big jump right there, you guys. So, I like that, and I think I'm definitely going to get it. Let's get at least one, boom. We got that one right there. Am I going to get a second one so we get, like, dual wield or, uh, whatever you want to call it with, with two of these things? And then have the counterweight and stuff like that going as well. 25 gold, that's a pretty good amount of money. And and, and we can modify it too. We have we still have money to uh to go to the the that guy right there, the goblin tinkerer. Let's uh, 25 gold we could you we could either buy a second one or we can modify the current one. Though I I'm so conflicted because you could only get this thing from the traveling merchant. I think I'm gonna get it. Boom. We're down to one platinum 59 uh, gold. Let's go over to the Goblin Tinker, see what he has to say about- whoops, that was the wrong thing. Uh, Reforge, there you go. Nine gold to Reforge this thing, just to give it something in general. Both of them are stock. So, uh... Superior, holy heck, that was crazy good right there. Let me look at the, uh... The page for the code, too. It usually says, uh... The best modifier is godly or demonic. So I feel like we're, we're pretty high up on there. Superior, plus 9% damage up to 89. 3% critical strike and 10% knockback. That seems really good. 9 gold. Let's do another one. Zealous? Eh, I'm not crazy about 11 gold. Broken. Oh, man. Broken again. Hurtful. Plus 9% damage on that as well. You know what? We spent a lot of money doing that. We spent like 20-something gold. Maybe 30-something gold. I don't know. How much do we have right now? Oh, 23. Yeah, we spent like 30-something gold right there, I think. I think I'm going to stop right there. I think I'm gonna stop right there, okay? Put the pickaxe back down here. There you go. If I ever want to use the pickaxe, just hit shift and then, uh, you know, it'll mine it. Anyway, so I don't think I need to have it in the hotbar anymore. And I guess we could put this in our hotbar, favorite it. And then if we get the yo-yo bag, or whatever it is nowadays, I don't know if we upgraded it to something else. Where is it on this? Is that it? Yeah, medicine. Ooh! Gives the yo- uh, user- it, it, it is not a material, so I cannot upgrade it any further, unfortunately. Uh, but I can... I guess temporarily get rid of, like, the wings. There you go. Just temporarily, just want to see how good this can be. Now, if I use it against... Wait, what happened to... Is the train coming right, right here? Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Look at that. We got the counterweight going, left and right. We got the two code twos going right there. Holy... That's a lot of damage right there. And it's ranged, and it's infinite. Look at this 18 blocks or whatever, or tiles. Wait, do I have... Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. I don't have any control over the second yo-yo. So it's just kind of spinning around, similar to the, uh... And it's actually a little bit longer than the counterweight right there. What what, what color counterweight? Oh, I don't even think we have any control over what color the counterweight is. I think we had a black counterweight. Uh, but it looks like whatever color that is now. now let's go get the DPS meter. I put that up. I just kind of want to, just for curiosity, I know it's not going to be too crazy, but... just want to see what the DPS meter is going to give us. And you know what? I do need to go fishing. Because I do need to get that one thing. Holy, this is crazy. Look at this DPS. High 500s, low 600s, even hit 700 right there just a moment ago. Hold on. If we get stuff like the counterweight and stuff involved to try and hit this, this training dummy, it could probably hit like 800, 900, I bet. Just have to get the... And it's actually doing a pretty good job. It's, 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 it's in the mid 700s right now. Whoa. And you know what? There's a ladybug right there. I might as well go catch it. 
But I do have the bug net on me. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Holy heck. Might as well catch that thing, use it for, uh, but oh, man, I put the wings up. I forgot about that. But oh my gosh, you guys. I think we're going to be, and, and we put the, yeah, we put the yo-yo bag up now. Without the yo-yo bag, uh, only five. I'm like, I'm getting a lot of crits right now. It's still doing a really good amount of DPS, and it, and it goes like, look at how much range that is. Boom. And it, and it can do the bounce thing too. Like, look at that. It's like, if it's like stuck inside of you, it does like 600, 700 DPS right there. Holy heck. Bouncing infinitely. Literally, because it has no cooldown, right? Oh, God. Is it raining slime? It is. Slime is falling from the sky, of course. All right, let's place down a thing right here. Hopefully, it'll, uh, there you go. It'll uh, kill all the heckin' slimes around here. And of course, we'll have a king slime at the very end of this, but nothing too crazy, I suppose. But I, I, I definitely feel like, you know what? I, I'll, I'll, put, I'll get the money trough out. I'll put the hurtful code two in the money. Hold on, which one? Numbers of damage. Which one's the? M okay, the superior one is the the one I actually have in my inventory, so that's good. Yeah, I definitely want to keep that there. Uh, I, I think I could just let the second flame burst thing. I, I think I just let that thing continually kill all the heckin' slime over here, and we're pretty much safe, you guys. Oh yeah, by the way, because I was like paused or whatever just a moment ago. I think uh, I, I placed down everything over here. By the way. I think these flower pots are like purely cosmetic and I could just come over here and just harvest whatever flowers grow out of it and they grow randomly I believe so I don't think I have really any say in uh oh I think that was like a rare pink slime right there really what was that oh it didn't give me any pink gel I think it's supposed to give me pink gel if it's like that actual pink slime right there unfortunately I don't I don't think it was that sucks but yeah our spider's doing a great job against that thing uh how do we mine the how do we uh, get the flat do I mine it like this no how do we get the flowers out of this stuff? Is it just... I, I think the flowers might just be purely cosmetic. I thought it was like an actual farming sort of thing. And I even placed down like the signs over here and said, Oh, this is like fire blossom or whatever. But I guess it's just... It's just that the flower pot itself is just fire blossom and moon glow. It's not like we're actually going to be growing anything out of that. I assume. I, I still haven't officially looked up anything about it. But this is what we have over here now. And I already harvested all the pumpkins over there because we had to expand it anyways. But I suppose I'll just kill all the heckin' slimes over here. And then, uh, you know what? We need to go to the jungle, and I'll definitely do that on camera. We need to go to the jungle after the heckin' slime raining is done. <laughs> we need to go to the jungle, and we need to go find more of those jungle fruit. And we need to go see what this plantera stuff- Oh, I think, uh... Another thing about the whole, like, defeating all the mechanic of bosses thing is... It, that, uh... Chlorof... Chlorophyte. That's what it's called. We should be able to mine that now, right? But I think we need to have a special pickaxe to, uh... To mine it. Like, a special amount of, like, pickaxe power. Yeah, 200% pickaxe power is required to mine it, meaning I need to get a pickaxe, axe, or a drax. And for that, I, uh, oh, I can actually get either one of them right now. 18 hallowed bars. Yeah, 18 hallowed bars for either one, and then one soul of fright, one soul of might, one soul of, oh, yeah, I, I don't have the soul of might, though. I need to get the mechanic worm for that. And I spent all my soul of might. I don't think I have any here. Yeah, I, I don't, th yeah, we use it all. Man, what were we missing for the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day blooms. Yeah, we need to get iron ore. I don't think I have iron ore. I, I have to probably have to go mining, honestly. So I guess I'll have to do that off camera. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose I can go, uh, basically. So oh, God, who did that? I can laser gun or whatever that was right there. That was crazy. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go, like, surface level mining, basically, to find some uh, iron ore. And then, of course, we get. What? Yeah, who is shooting that? Seems like someone's shooting, like, a laser gun. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah, I don't know who it is that's doing that, but it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Either way, oh, the king slime is here. The king slime has a right. You know what? Let's get him with the uh, the oh yeah. Where is he? Hold on, let's zoom out. He might be like on our house or something stupid. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where he is. You know what? I'll get the two yo yos. So, oh, did I put the? Oh, I still have the yo yo bag. Okay. Uh, Terra Spark boots. Sure, why not? There you go. So, oh, whoops. Get the pig bank. Get the money drop out. Go get the other. Uh, get the other yo yo. There it is. Now we got two yo-yo. Where did the king slime go? He's gone. Oh man, I'm so much slower without the terrace bark. He's actually gone. Where is he? Oh, there we go. Now he's... I'm pretty sure it said... Where is he now? Hold on. Oh, oh there he is. I said, uh, oh my god, look at how fast we're killing him. Oh my god, he's dead already. What? The king slime is absolutely nothing. I don't think I even touched the ground once during that ba boss battle. What? Jeez, this, wasn't he our first boss? I think it was either that or the Eye of Cthulhu. I forget which one. Uh, bombs and stuff. Slimy Saddle. Yeah, we already had one of those. Ninja Hood. Slime Gun. Yeah, nothing new here, particularly. 
And of course the uh, Terror Spark boots. I guess we could put those back on and put the uh, menacing. Yeah. If we have the yo-yo bag, or uh, if we have the money trough and uh, the other code 2 in there, we might as well put the money bag, or uh, yo-yo bag in there. <laughs> money bag. We might as well put the yo-yo bag inside there as well, just so I could retrieve that and put that on if I ever get the yo-yo, right? So that seems pretty good. Also got some stuff like the recall potion. That's nothing now, so I don't care about that. So either way, we got the Terror Spark bag. Yep, we do. Yeah, pff, we're a lot faster now. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I, I guess I do appreciate the speed of the Terra Spark boots, especially whenever I don't have them. <laughs> I, I guess you just kind of get used to the speed of the Terra Spark. You just kind of be like, oh, oh, God, kill that thing in one. <laughs> you just kind of like, yeah, that, that's the normal speed. And you just kind of disregard it. But yeah, when you don't have the Terra Spark boots or anything else that gives you speed, I guess. And yeah, it's very noticeable. So I, I'll definitely not take it for granted here in the future. But either way, I guess I'll clean out my inventory a little bit right here. We just had the heckin' slime end right there, which is good. Uh, and yeah, like I said, over here with the heckin' the random plants, I, I don't know what to do with this. I guess we'll just keep it. Maybe it'll just be like a decorative thing, I suppose. Uh, but I do want to go over to the jungle and get some more of those jungle fruit. But for right now, let me just kind of clean out my inventory and clean out my void vault as well. We have a lot of trash in there. <laughs> as well as maybe even organize my chest over here. I've been wanting to organize it for the longest time. Might as well use this opportunity to do it, right? So... Let me just buzz the recording, get all that random trash done, and uh, let's put up some money up here too, nice. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I just did a ton of like off-camera stuff right there. And the main thing I did was I finally made those other chests. You guys know I was like, oh, I need to make a chest for ranged weapons, magic, uh, summon weapons, etc. Now we have melee weapons over here as well. I finally did it and emptied out all the stuff over here, which is great. I'm going to have to do the same thing eventually with the accessories. Um, maybe I'll do that with this chest over here because it currently doesn't have anything, so that's good. Well, we got all of our ranged weapons over here. And the main way I did it was, you know, when you sort items, it shows like the background is like yellow. And then uh, it's purple there for some reason. I don't know what these are technically. So I just kind of put them in the range just because it's a flare gun, it's a javelin. I don't know what, I guess the rotten egg, you could throw it. So <laughs> I put it in, I, I put those in there just because I don't know what that actually is. And then of course magic over here, I lumped it together with the summon weapons like the imp staff, the uh, the firecracker, the blade staff. I uh, put those all over there just because, you know, they're, they're pretty similar as well because I don't want to have a separate chest for like three items, right? Then uh, I guess we could make this one another accessories chest. And then uh, this one was food. I think it was red previously. I colored it to be green because our uh, our weapons chests are all red. And maybe I'll turn that one, the original melee weapons, maybe I'll turn that one into a, a gold chest because I think I have a few of those. And uh, yeah, I've got five of those. So, I, you know, just to make it glow and stick out a little bit more, kind of like these ones over here. So that's definitely something I'll have to do here in the future. But I also went mining to finally get some iron ore. So now we have some iron ore over here. I forget if... Okay, it needs to be actual iron bars. So we need to actually... Turn the, where is it? Oh, and by the way, yeah, I went mining in the desert to uh, to get the iron, and we have 135 desert fossil. I guess we could put that inside of the, uh, whatever that thing was called. <laughs> get the uh, iron ore there, and let's get all iron bars. And, oh man, I was about to say, maybe I should leave a few left over, just in case I need actual iron ore for anything, and I think we do. Is that to get the uh, the strength potion? Or uh, the, the armor potion, or whatever it's called? I think it was, wasn't it? Ah, uh, let me talk to the guide real quick. I, I think it had something to do with iron, didn't it? Yeah, iron skin. Lead ore, day bloom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, so we need what I can make two of them right now if I wanted to. We just need to get some water, day bloom, and uh, we have the two iron uh, in our inventory. So we can make. And by the way, I did also get comments from you guys saying, hey, there is a chance that whenever you craft uh, potions, it won't actually take anything. So that's definitely something to think about here in the future. Whenever we actually. Where in the world are the marigolds at? Or uh, not marigolds, uh, day blooms. I don't know where they're at. Oh, wait, they're in my inventory. I'm stupid. Pfft. I forgot I already took him out. Anyways, yeah, we need to get some water as well, so I think that'd be over here in the potions, right? Yeah, we got some bottled water, and then, uh... I don't think we have any lead, do we? Like, actual, just straight-up lead? Because I think I already looked for that over here, and I don't think we have any, yeah. Alright, well, let's, let's just go make some... Here we go, iron skin. Okay, it took both of those, unfortunately, so we do have some iron skin potion right there, so that's good. We're going to be using that here in a bit to actually make... Uh, for, the, for the boss battle for the mechanic worm because that's we're, what we're about to make here in just a bit. Oh man, I forgot to get the soul of night. Oh man, I need to go do that real quick. Yeah, we need six. I have two. Yeah, I forgot that was something I wanted to do as well. Man! Alright, well, let's just put all the desert fossils through the uh, this thing here. Let's see what we're going to get out of it. Sturdy fossil. Stur two sturdy fossils, a bunch of gold, a bunch of ores and j Oh, look at that! We're actually getting some iron ore and stuff like that, so that's good. I don't think you can get any, uh, a lot of sturdy fossils here. Holy heck. How many do I have here? I think I have like a hundred something, uh, like desert fossils here, so that's a pretty good amount. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get any soul of night from these, unfortunately, so I, I am going to have to go to, I think, was it the underworld or something like that, or... 
I think you can go to the Underworld or the Crimson to get the Soul of Night, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100,000% sure, but uh, I, I assume we have either some Iron Ore, Iron Ore, or uh, Lead Ore in there. So we can't, yep, yeah, we can make more uh, Iron Skins. Let's do that. Boom, seven of those. Nice. Orange Torch, uh, Copper. Now nah, I'm not crazy about that. So hey, look at that. The, uh, the Fossils was able to get us some more of those, uh, those I almost called them fossils, but potions right there. So that's good. Let's put all the other uh, things up inside here. There you go. And I guess I'll have to go kill a bunch of critters real quick to get the, the soul of night. All right, guys, I am back and I can now make the mechanical worm. Boom. There it is right there to summon the destroyer. So let's get that. There you go. And we still have the uh, the other summons over here for literally the other uh, two things, the mechanical eye and the mechanical skull. So if we ever want to get those, we already have those going. But uh, I also switched out my oh. Oh man, I wanted to, oh, I forgot we had a traveling merchant going on. I forgot to see what it's, oh yeah, I already checked. Yeah, they're not that good, honestly. Or else I would have let you guys know. Either way, I guess we'll go re-up on all of our stuff. Maybe we we'll go get an iron skin real quick, just because we do have that. Uh, we got the pumpkin pie right there. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, do we have, yeah, we have regeneration right there. Let's get that. We have the, uh, the heart lanterns or whatever those are called. We have those going as well below the base. So that's going to be great. So we have that. Let's get the iron skin, wherever that is. There it is right there. And that's probably all we really need, honestly. Like, I've, I also switched, I don't know if I mentioned it just a moment ago. <laughs> switch out the holy arrows for that so we could use the Daedalus Stormbow against the thing. It's going to be really, really good, so that's going to be awesome. I uh, definitely want to get the Flame Burst Cane as well. Let's get that. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this. Place down those uh, Eternia Crystal Banners down here, too, so that's good. Uh, do we have all of our things? We got the Sharpness, we got the Bewitched. I might as well get the Bewitched going again. And uh, let's get the Sharpness going again and get the Bewitched. And I guess we'll get a slice of cake. Boom, there we go, nice. All right, zoom out. And then I guess we'll summon them in. And then uh, maybe we'll go to the jungle here in just a bit and go get ourselves some more hearts after we get the uh, the thing here in just a second and get that uh, the Drax. I think I'm going to get the Drax, honestly, because it's like a drill axe thing. Uh, we haven't had a drill, so I definitely want to try that out. I think it, it mines faster, but it has one tile less of range. So that kind of sucks, but I guess we'll test it out and see what it's all about. And of course, go mine that chlorophyte while we're over in the, uh, the jungle. But summon in the me uh, mechanical or the destroyer with the mechanical worm. Boom, there you go. And let's see if I get, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's get the stars going to get a destroyer killed here. We're doing a great job already. Man, that, that is really effective. Like, look at that. That is crazy. Oh, I forgot to take my buffs. There you go. Man, look at that. Like, he's taking him down hardcore. It is killing his, uh, his orb guys, too, which is great. I still have a ton of arrows here, a ton of holy arrows here, which is amazing. We we'll have to watch out and make sure I don't take too much damage from his uh, his minions there, his little orb guys. But uh, I'll go up here into the sky. There you go. And hopefully they'll get hit. Yep, there you go. They're getting hit by the orbs, or uh, by the stars, by the falling arrows and stuff, by the Daedalus Stormbow. This is amazing, you guys. Yeah, I, I could definitely see why you guys were saying, yeah, get the Daedalus Stormbow plus holy arrows for the destroyer boss battle. And we're almost out of holy arrows right now. That's not that big. Oh, and by the way, also got a lot of E-Core too. Oh, and that's, that's all of them right there, you guys. I might as well get... I've got... What, 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 what bullets do I have for this thing right now? I don't know. I think I'm lowering... Oh, I should probably should have lowered its defense before I did that, but whatever. Not that big of a deal, I suppose. Let's get the... Uh, here we go. Try and kill him using the tiger claws. We're about to get him. We're about to get him. Come on. He's down. The destroyer has been defeated. He still has a couple of these uh, orb guys here. Oh, man. Our uh, our little totem over there died. Man, the, uh, the little staff guy or some what, whatever, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> What's it called again? The uh, sentry. That's what it's called. Yeah, the sentry died over there, man. Uh, I did get somewhat far away from it, but I think it helped us out a little bit. Did you guys see my health during that? I was full health for a lot of it, and I think it was because of the campfires, plus the regeneration uh, lanterns there. That is amazing, guys. 36 soul of might. We got a bunch of hallowed bars as well. Greater healing potion. Got a lot of gold there. I think I got that from the uh, the boss battle right there. I, we might have gotten it from uh, me killing a bunch of spiders and stuff. And a couple Ecor guys. I don't know if I just mentioned it. But yeah, I got like 20-something Ecor because I killed like two Ecor in the... Uh, the, the crimson, the underground crimson. So up to 43 of those. So we can get more of those Ecore bullets. We can get Ecore uh, arrows now. So let's definitely do that here in a bit. But uh, for right now, I think we're pretty well set to get the Drax. So we just need one of each of those, I think. Let me see what else did I need for the Drax. Because I wanted to actually get the... Oh yeah, we have enough Hallow Bars. We only need uh, 18 of those. And of course, one uh, a Soul of Sight. Soul of Might. Soul of Flight. That's the wrong one. Soul of Flight. That would be Soul of Fright. There it is right there. Nice. So let's get all those. And let's see if it's going to pop up here. Yep, there it is right there. The Drax. 200% pickaxe power. That's good. That's that's what we need to mine the Chlorophyte. And 110% axe power. Uh, 100, okay, so I guess it still makes sense to still have the ha Hammer Axe. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we want to use that to cut down like trees and stuff like that, pickaxe axe, yes. Yeah, these are both the same thing. Oh, whoa, 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 70 range damage. Ooh. So only 7% critical strike, though. Hmm. Not to be confused with a ham, ham drill. I guess we get the, uh, oh, wait, whoops. I was looking at the wrong thing. That's, uh, yeah, they're both the same thing. 55. Very fast speed, so yeah, you can see this one mines a little bit faster, and then there it is right there, negative one range, so it has one less tile of range, so yeah, that just confirms what I said earlier, so yeah, let's get the Drax, boom, oh whoops, boom, there you go, we got the Drax attacks, achievement right there, nice, because we'll get rid of our Adamantite pickaxe, which only has 180% uh, pickaxe power, so let's do that, boom, and I guess we'll go put that up over in the tools, because we still have some room over there, so I'll just put that up, then uh, we'll favorite the unpleasant Drax, ooh, I'm like, it doesn't make sense, uh, it, like, to do more damage with that thing. It's not like I'm going to use it for, like, killing things or anything like that, right? But, uh, let's go over to the jungle now. Let's go teleport over there to the jungle pylon over here. Let's go down into the underground, and let's see if we can actually find ourselves some... I know we have some chlorophyte, actually, on the tunnel down, or... Wait, hold on, where was it? Oh, yeah, we haven't reached it just yet. <laughs> Speaking of reach, that guy, he could have reached us if he had better aim, but nope, he was too bad. <laughs> All right, let's go about right here. Yep, here it is right here. Oh, I've got to finish uh, separating this into... Oh, wait, yeah, I... Yeah, okay, well, there's some spots where I kind of messed up. There's, like, a little, little thing here in the middle that I need to get rid of, but I never did. <laughs> but I think somewhere here in the... Yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here's that chlorophyte. It was blocking the path. Boom! Photosynthesis... Photosynthesis achievement. Oh, and you can actually hear it going. It's like, it's like a lawnmower. <laughs> Yeah, we have a little bit right there. Now, what was the thing about this? I wanted to get this uh, chlorophyte thing for some reason. I forgot what it was. You get the chlorophyte bar, of course. You can make those. Oh, then, yeah, I guess you could mine, uh, you could, you could make stuff out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know we have more of it somewhere down here. I just forget. It, it's going to be really hard to see it because it is gr Oh, yeah. I think now we can go inside of this thing, can't we? No, I think we have to defeat the Plantera thing before you do that, right? I think if I, I, I oh, oh, yeah, here, 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 yeah, look at this, a lot of this chlorophyte, right, right here, if we, uh, there you go, mine that, and we have a little bit less range, and for, man, there's a, still a thing blocking me right there, mine that thing, there you go, get rid of the mud block, yeah, we're, ma we're mining stuff super, duper fast, I assume the pickaxe axe is a little bit slower than this, at mining the chlorophyte, and of course we can get, like, silver, like, whatever that is right there, I think that's silver, we'll probably get, like, regular, or like super duper fast like look at this it's like almost instantaneous it feels like sheesh but yeah we're getting a ton of chlorophyte right now that's great Let's see if we can find some more of those jungle fruit as well because of course remember every jungle fruit raises our uh life or our health by five points and i think oh whoa, whoa, whoa. get them spiders get them <laughs> i think it raises it by five points so that's definitely so i just need to look uh i might as well look that up what is it what does it actually physically look like like the actual like thing or life fruit that's what it's called life fruit okay so it's, it, i can't miss it i can't miss it it looks like a little like a little vine thing with like a, a yellow heart coming out of it, so it's pretty obvious, honestly. So if I miss it, it, it should be, uh... Oh, did I already find this railroad, or is this new? I don't know. Doesn't seem, uh, familiar to me, at least right now. Can't really see too well. Oh, wait, oh, is that one right there? I think that's one right there. I can just barely see it. Yep, boom! Life fruit. So we can go up to 100, or 410. 410 health right there, nice, so that's awesome. Demonstrated what those things look like right there, that's perfect.